<laughs> Thank you for having us, guys. We love seeing a full house. We yeah. want to thank you guys for donating your time and having a nice lunch to support the schools. Yes. Um, I just going to have to say that, uh, you know, when we were first sort of invited, Mary Kay and the Foundation, you know, uh, we were very humbled, very honored. And then we saw some of the press. <laughs> Join the Foundation for two great events with Lake Oswego's hilarious Eggman Brothers. <laughs> I, we're writers, okay? We're not performers. I don't know if they thought we'd be the Smothers Brothers or something, but we're not Eggman Brothers. I'm sure they went to, uh, is it Kevin Hart? Or is it Kevin Love? Kevin Love. Kevin Love probably passed, passed on this opportunity to so move the next best Kevin and me. So we went from being honored and humble to being terrified. Yeah. Uh, scared, anxious. Scared, frightened. Yes. Filled with regret. <laughs> but it was too late. We were on the plane. <laughs> and the thing is, being terrified, being anxious, being filled with regret, this is something that we're actually very familiar with, staring at the blank page. <laughs> what we do. We have made a life of looking at this page going, what is going to go on this page? How is anybody going to like this? Mm -hmm. and so luckily, we've been writing for how many years? Uh, 2003. Uh, 13. 13. 15. <laughs> so, we're a little bit more comfortable in this space, and uh, so instead of giving jokes and being hilarious, we just, we just want to tell you guys a story, a story about how, and this is in all honesty, we did not be like us, we go thinking or wanting to be writers, but as we look back, we kind of see how like us, we go was the foundation of who we are as writers. And, and everything we do and everything we aspire to be, Lake Oswego was a very important piece of that. And of course, obviously, our parents were our home. Thomas Sandy, they are very important. But this isn't the Thomas Sandy Foundation, is it? I just found that right now, she's filming this right now. She will probably watch this over and over and over again. <laughs> Earlier today, she said this is the proudest moment she's ever had. So, I'm going to be wrong. 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 Of course, it's going to be the school. It's going to be our friends, our teachers, and our life that we had at Lake Ridge, at Westridge, at Woluwe Junior High, which I believe now is called Lake Ridge. Lake Ridge Junior High. Um, but anyways, I want to jump into, um, is, is there, there's a screenwriting term, I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with this thing. Has anyone heard the term, the hero's journey? There's one. One couple. Well, the hero's journey. Yeah. Not, not a lot of writers, I think. <laughs> That's why we have to leave. Yeah. Look, look, look how clever I am, what a wordsmith I am. The foundation of a story. <laughs> is, is a hero's journey. And uh, for the unfamiliar, this is, you know, a hero's journey is a protagonist, you know, is in the ordinary world and then ventures into the, you know, there's a call to action and then there's mentors and allies and villains and consequences until there's finally the great dark abyss. We'll talk about this throughout our speech just to kind of give you a track about our story, but our story begins not with us, but with our parents. And as, uh, as John had asked people to raise their hands, our parents moved to Lake Oswego because they were looking for a place to raise their kids and a place for the, uh, to join a community that was growing. And so they moved to Lake Oswego. Of their three children, one was very special. <laughs> it was not us. It was not us. <laughs> well, my sister was much more special than she was little. She was a ballet prodigy. Yeah. We were playing Nintendo, probably, at that time. <laughs> and, uh, and I think while she was in the limelight, mm -hmm. we were skulking in her shadow. Two ordinary brothers, unathletic, <laughs> unskilled, 
wallowing in the sort of shadows of the hallways of uh, Westridge Elementary School. And, and in every act one, the hero, which is us, yeah, semi-successful screenwriter, brother duo. Semi 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 so in act one, the hero always meets the mentor. Because this is school, it's a place of many mentors. And Kevin and I, we're, we're three years apart. I'm the older one, just, I know you're wondering which one. <laughs> I just have a lot of hair. But I am the older one, by three years. And uh, forgive us for name dropping, but we each had um, Miss Ford. Christy, Miss Christy Ford. 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 So in sixth grade, uh, there was a teacher that was very special in my life, been named uh, Mrs. England. I'm, I'm not sure if anyone remembers Mrs. England, uh, but she hit me in a period where I was convinced I was going to be the next Will Vinton. You know Will Vinton, he was like... Uh, the future of claymation. I thought, in sixth grade, I was going to be the future of claymation. <laughs> There were a few, there were a few little things that he made. <laughs> and it started out with me making <coughs> California raisins out of my mashed potatoes. First thing, I would make a menagerie. California raisins, and I don't know what my teacher thought. You know, don't, don't ask. But she, for whatever reason, she's like, Andy's or darling, I'm going to put a little corner in the classroom just for you. <laughs> and every student was like, why is this guy? <laughs> but whatever the case, she supported me. She didn't have to do that. And I think, I blame her for giving me my sense of entitlement. <laughs> I'm always looking for my corner. Where's my corner? <laughs> um, my call to adventure, notice that's a screenwriting term, my call to adventure, was Mr. Olson, sixth grade class. He had, that, he had that beat up truck with yeah, the hole in the bottom. I remember hearing rumors there was a hole in the bottom of his truck. Yeah. These guys, these guys are... This guy was awesome, though. And, and in sixth grade, I, when I found out I was going to be in Mr. Olson's class, I was so stoked. Every kid was stoked to be in his class because not only was he a fantastic teacher, but the very last week of school, he dedicated to making a movie. And everyone in class, like we'd finish our tests and stuff. And we had one week left, and we would write, we would direct, we would star, and we worked together as a class. We put on a movie, and then present it and stuff. And it was totally inspiring to me. It opened my eyes. Kevin, let me ask you, is this the moment in which you wanted to become a writer? No. <laughs> Not at all. Well, I want to make it very clear. Ever since we were little, we never wanted to be writers. <laughs> I grew up as an actor. I grew up uh, you know, loving to direct. Uh, but never writing. Uh, never a lonely writer. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we crossed our threshold into Act Two. It's another screenwriting term. <laughs> into Lulu Junior High, or otherwise known as Laker Junior High. This was a terrifying new world for these young heroes. Yep. There were. Uh, they had brought together four schools of girls. Put them together. Absolutely amazing. And then pitted us awesome. against. Upper eighth class, graders. Not eighth graders. <laughs> boys with hair. <laughs> <laughs> Under arms. And then they put I remember in math class, like, kid, that kid was wearing a tank top. I don't know why you're wearing a tank top in Oregon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kid's hair. I couldn't even concentrate. I'm like, what? Is this 
And I believe when we each hit junior high, we were smack dab in the ugly period of our lives. <laughs> Covered in acne. Accutane? That medicine Accutane for acne? Crippled your skeletal system? You know? <laughs> Crippled and had acne? So, act two is when your hero faces test allies and enemies, and this is probably the most perfect example of what junior high was to us. This was, we were speaking to them. And so, within this group, there's adversaries. A hero is going to come across an adversary. And actually, one of my adversaries is in this room right now. <laughs> this is Yo, so thought you'd buy a ticket. I'd be honored. This is Yo. I might roast you a little bit. <laughs> she had just come to the school, probably eager and bright, wanting to teach children. <laughs> Language arts. I came along, I pretty much got straight C's. <laughs> didn't do much, she probably thought about quitting after that. <laughs> but uh, when, when, when I found out Mrs. Yost was gonna be here, I looked at my yearbooks, and little, little did I know she actually signed my yearbook. And it was great, and she says, I quote, you are a wonderful student. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin was always more lax. And I hold this resentment, which pushes me. 
Again, slowly <laughs> destroying him from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, in high school, we both were in the drama. Sonny Samuelson. Uh, Can we get a round of applause for Sonny Samuelson? Yay! Hey. 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 And Millie Holscher. Are people familiar with Millie Holscher? I don't think you can get two more opposite drama teachers. Yep. You got one in Birkenstocks and one in Dazzle. Yeah. So we really, like us, we go help us see the gamut of like Manchester by the Sea, yes. like La La Land. Yeah. <laughs> through our, uh, through the high school, we also ended up starting to shoot movies. It was the birth of a camcorder. And Dad got a camcorder and started shooting movies with our friends Kip Cantley. We Raise your hand, Mr. and Mrs. King. Yes. Yeah, I'm David Steinberg, Jim Green, Aaron John Sh Bliss, Aaron Chambers, who's now a wonderful actress down in the La La Land. This isn't related to the school, but I do want to uh, make this point. We were filming a movie on the lake, and we needed pyrotechnics. And uh, my good friend Michael Sears was in charge of pyrotechnics. The son yeah, his son. father was a son. Did you <laughs> So his idea was to fill balloons with propane. And we would light them on fire and blow them up at night time. He said, our parents were off at dinner. So, so like, you're the pyrotechnic expert, so. And so, um, yeah, we're this, on is the a, back this is lawn. a total side note, but yeah. We were on the back lawn, we're filling balloons with propane, because we really got the shot. But it wasn't blowing up good. You know, we're filming it, it's terrible, it's so lame. And like, so we looked at a pyrotechnic expert, we were like, these are supposed to be the giant explosions. It's like, yeah, we, gotta, we, we gotta put hairspray on We gotta like... And then we had propane in inside, then we had hairspray on So I said, boo, Yeah. The police guy caught on the boat. On the boat. He's like, what are the kids doing? And we are like, 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 sorry, officer, we're uh, making explosives for our movie. And, you know. and he's like, he's like, carry on. Carry on. <laughs>
I have yet to apply myself, and I speak yeah. 3.0. Yeah, and I'm applying the soft skills, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, we were free. We were out to go explore what we wanted to do with our lives. Do we want to be writers? No, no. no. <laughs> High school English class, I, I can't spell. My spelling was terrible. My grammar was horrendous. I literally took the word curriculum out of this speech because I was afraid my brother was not so Kevin, Kevin went off to film school because he wanted to be a director. Yes. And I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I loved movies. So I wanted to write music for film. So I went off to study music. And I'm going to say, even after graduating Lake Ridge, uh, Lake Oswego continued to help us. My senior thesis movie was gonna be set. There's monsters underneath the high school. And so what did we do? We came back, we spoke to, I can't remember the name of the principal of Beluga at that time, but she welcomed us in and we got to shoot our movie in the hallways of the very school I grew up in. Well, we're at the place where the heroes hit the end of act two, which for those familiar in screenwriting, it's called rock bottom. The great abyss, where the hero faces his darkest moment. This is where, you know, coming from Lake Oswego, we're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and we're like, let's bring the world to us, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, and this moment for us was leaving this sort of sheltered walls of education and joining the real world. And Kevin had graduated from film school and he wanted to make a movie. But no one was willing to give me $10 million to make a movie. <laughs> the real world set in. The offer still stands. How am I supposed to be a director now? <laughs> well, this had a really, really big ripple effect in my life. Because I was going to do music for film. And if Kevin wasn't going to be able to make a movie, he's now messing with my future. <laughs> I'm just going to do this now, yeah, compose all the music. So we came to a crossword. Uh, cross, crossword, that is my word. Word. <laughs> <laughs> <Beautiful> <laughs> word. We came to a crossroad. Instead of destroying my brother, maybe we would join forces. This is where if we weren't going to get the money to make a movie, we need to write something. And this is the first moment where we actually said, hey, we love movies, let's just forward. For the love of it, let's just write together. I moved down to Los Angeles, we started working together. And lo and behold, we actually got a foothold into the industry. And for us, like when we tell our stories, and hopefully you'll see in our films and TV shows, wish fulfillment is like probably the biggest word that comes to us. You know, aspirational. Um, we want to always write things that unite to bring the young and the old together, where you can, as a parent and a child, sit and watch something and enjoy it together, like a great Pixar movie. I feel like we have like foolish optimism. I think a lot of that comes from like our sweet feel like we are bright eyed yeah. <laughs> And we see like we have rose tinted glasses on. Yeah, and honestly, um, early in our careers, we were so fortunate. Our first script was we got to write an idea from Steven Spielberg. And, and there Kevin goes name dropping. There we go. <laughs> um, and we got we went back to Waluga Junior High for research and we researched the kids and stuff and Mr. We were, Cheryl was a principal. I remember Mr. Cheryl was a teacher, he was a principal. He was, I just want to, on a side note, it was amazing to go back to your junior high when you're an adult. Yeah. You're like, all of a sudden you see Mr. Everhart, you're like, oh my god, that guy used to like run your laps around the thing, and then all of a sudden he's your buddy. Yeah. And it felt the same. Blows your mind. And the school felt the same. Like, yeah, the so same the same archetype of the kid that we were friends with. Seemed like the exact one. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's David Steinberg. Oh my gosh, that's Dick Cannon. All these kids. Like, it doesn't yes. change. It's yeah. the same. Yeah, and so but when we turned the script in, Stephen liked the script, and he's like, your school is too idealized. There's no schools out there like this. <laughs> and I said, well, clearly you haven't been to Lake Oswego. <laughs> and I mean, you know, the reason why we, we jumped the chance of coming back was, first off, my sense of entitlement. <laughs> Second of all, the, this foundation is so important. It's so important to give back to the community. I think, uh, to talk about how this has kind of come full circle for us, Kevin and I, we both have children. 
Yeah, I have two young children, and he does too, and, and we're living in like the Los Angeles area. By the way, I just want to say, we would love to live to Oregon, but me, if I have to right, you have to stay close to and connected to it. But in, in Los Angeles, there's, there are no good public schools, you know? I mean, just everyone sends every, their kids to private school, but for us, growing up here... We wanted to give our kids the same experience that we had, so we actually, yeah. like our parents, we moved to the areas that had good public schools. I moved to a tiny little town called Sierra Madre, which is right outside of um, Pasadena. It's got an amazing school district. And I live in a little area named Rossmore, and uh, where Francis Burkhart also I ran into literally my classmate. Uh, but we, we, we understand the amount of time and support it needs in order to make a good public school. We, we you know, my wife and, and ourselves, we're always there trying to help out. And so, you know, when we heard that Lake Oswego needs people to kind of they need a triumphant return of some people. We're, yeah. like, we're gonna do it. We're gonna come back. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> show us. We're coming in. We're showing us. Let's attempt to be And so, and, and the theme, I mean, the, the theme that Kevin and I, a lot of the themes in our stories are always about childhood. And one of the things we love is the greatest education. We, we always say the greatest education a person can have is their childhood. It really sculpts them. And this, and this is like us, you know, This is. This is something that, you know, it sculpted us, and we hope that it sculpts uh, many more generations of, a, of very successful and, and great people. And so, you know, we don't, we don't want to ask for the check right now, <laughs> but we want to butter you up. We want to let you know <laughs> that if you guys afterwards, if you guys want to talk to us, talk about your history of the school, if you want to talk about our history of the school, we'd love to sit down and chat with you. And I'm supposed to say, as screenwriters, you know, you might be surprised to learn that, you know, our job isn't necessarily just to write the movie. You know, our script really is more of a blueprint to empower the directors, to empower the actors, the editors, the cinematographers, to really make an amazing experience. So we're here to pass the baton on to you guys, to make sure that we all do our part in giving Lake Oswego the strongest school district, school district that it can get. Yeah. Thank you guys, enjoy your lunch. We're